bright lights activated national stage said Friday night in L.A. Staples Center, Lakers versus the Milwaukee Bucks. All-star captains LeBron James versus Giannis. Potential NBA Finals matchup. Potential MVP Greek Freak versus LeBron James, who's making a running for the case to be MVP. Who would come out on top and who would fall? I'll break it down all for you as you've entered the sports opinion log here in Lex Anderson World. I'm said person. And if you're down with all things NBA, Western Conference or Eastern Conference, or maybe you're a casual fan just waiting for the playoffs, make sure you're doing the right thing and subscribing to the channel, pressing the bell icon to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos. And on your way back down, like this video, drop a comment below letting me know where you stand on the NBA landscape. So let me break it down the history, the winners, and the losers. Let's go. Well, if you do or if you don't know, final score 113, LA Lakers, 103, Milwaukee Bucks as LA gets the win, and the history has been made as of last night. We've clinched a playoff spot for the first time since 2013. We're the best in the West. We are must-see TV. As Jay-Z was in attendance, shout out to Hove. LeBron James, the king. I have to take it back to his earlier marketing schemes. We are all witnesses. 34,000 points. Third NBA all-time scoring behind Carl Malone, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. As the only players in NBA history with 34,000 plus points. You ignorant sheeple, you ignorant haters are missing out. And that's why I have to be here front and center, the top one percenter, the people sportscaster to note it in the annals of sports history last night, LA, Staples Center, primetime, ESPN. Book it. March 6, 2020, the Lakers are back in the playoffs. We're on top of the Western Conference and LeBron James has now scored 34,000 points. What more do you want? Maybe, how about this? 38 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists. AD, his teammate, 30 points, 14 in the fourth quarter. Defensively, LeBron took on Greek Free, who had 32 points and 11 rebounds, but he suffered the loss, and that's all that matters. The team to see, and we are also the team to beat, you already know what I, the prophet, have already been decreeing. LeBron, year two of year four, stamp it, playoffs, we're bound. But set your calendars, circle the dates for when the NBA finals start because the Lakers are going to be there and we will once again be on the top of the mountain as the number one team in the NBA, and that's all that fucking matters. So fuck the ignorant sheeple who know not what they say, who know not what they see, for they are blind. But I, the top one percenter representing Laker Nation, the people sportscaster, will say what the nationwide sports leader, what the foxies, what the corporate shells who have been brought out are afraid to say. You know, and I know, that LeBron James deserves to be this year's MVP. But because of his tenure, the 17 years of excellence, the 17 years of greatness that have now been transferred and brought here to L.A., LeBron James took his talents to L.A., to us, Los Angeles, the Lakers, right here, right here. And that is why they hate, as LeBron put down another so-called competitor, a threat to the throne for the crown. But Greek Freak, he's not ready. Nowhere near ready. You could, I'll drop my previous video. He has no real playoff presence. And you'll see, come playoff time, what I, the prophet, the top one presenter, the people sportscaster, have been fucking talking about. And that's all that matters. Nothing more needs to be said. Lex Anderson, signing out.